Hey guys, and welcome back to TNT. My name is Tommy, and I am starting up a new game. This one, just like Call of Cthulhu, was one that has been titillating at the very edges of my awareness of horror games, and it's one that piqued my interest for kind of an unknown reason, and I think it's because it has hints of psychological horror, which are my favorite type of horror. Layers of Fear uh, is apparently a very short game, from what I can tell, anyway, and the size of the uh, the size on the hard drive that I need to download it is very, very small. It says here that Layers of Fear is a unique, immersive game experience in which every decision affects the narrative. As in life, it is the doors you open, the memories you take with you, and the shadows you explore that will define who you are. This may be our game, but it is your journey. So before we begin, I'm going to ask, what type of horror tends to get to you guys most? There's physical horror, like things that you're phobic of, of like maybe spiders or whales or underwater, right Trevor? But there's also things that you might be afraid of, like the darkness, or things like heights, or things like the concept of death, or what have you. I will tell you that the kind of horror that tends to get to me most is psychological horror. The idea of the mind attacking itself scares me the most. And so, <laughs> without anything else to say, with, without further ado, we shall begin Layers of Fear. Music is beautiful. Alright, I have indulged enough. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Okay, so something I will note immediately, immediately, it has a difference between this game and Call of Cthulhu, is that the sound quality is so much better in this game already. And I'm wearing my headphones, obviously, I'm listening closely. Ooh. I'm listening closely to the music and to, um, oh, oh, here we go. That's a weird control. There we go. Okay. Oh, he moves really slow. He or she, whoever I'm playing as. But the ambiance is great already because the sound of water and the rain and the lightning and everything, it feels like it's all around you. And with Call of Cthulhu, it did not feel like it was everywhere. It felt like, I don't know, like it was coming through a tube, kind of. Huh. Is that blood on the edge of it? Interesting. Real quick, I'm going to take a look at the settings to see if I can increase sensitivity on the movement, because that would be muy helpful. Mm, field of view changes, but I don't think that'll help me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sensitivity. There we go. That's much better. Whew. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for the room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Alright. Uh, maybe later. I'm looking for my office, I'm looking for some keys. Also, I noticed as soon as I looked down that hallway... Oh. 
Um, is the music, the beautiful singing in my head? Or is it really in the house? Who can say? Huh. Just going through my own drawers like, oh, what do I have collected here? Weird. Bathroom. Also, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, turn off that water. Who keeps running my water? Why can't I see my reflection? Am I a vampire? Um, I'm pretty sure this game is not the kind of game where I have to, like, run from horrors, I don't think. Oh, but then again, I say that, and yet there actually is a run button. Okay, so maybe I do have to run sometimes. Is that a dog for a leash? What does that say? Pop goal? I can't read it. It says an address, Avenue 7C. Pop goal. Interesting. That's right. I actually have a purpose. Hello? If you have something to say, just use your words. Did the ladder fall? <sighs> Has anybody ever ridden the ride from Disneyland and Disney World? <laughs> the Tower of Terror. Hey! Who broke my stuff? The reason I ask about Tower of Terror is because I'm definitely getting the same vibes. Is that a cat person? The same vibes as I do in that ride because of the lightning coming through the glass. The derelict building, yeah, obviously lived in, but like... Maybe not lovingly, who knows? Child's room. Oh, young child's room. <sighs> I wonder if this is going to be hard for me to play. I am a dad. I am a father of two children. But who knows if that's actually going to, you know, make it any more challenging for me. Who, who knows, you know? Like, life... Life is full of chaos and variables that you can never really fully understand until you play a horror game. I'm rambling. This doesn't actually have anything to do with the game in general. I ramble when I'm uncomfortable. There's a note. I'm working all night. Don't wake me up. Is there someone else here? Huh. Tumbling all around, tumbling all around, tumbling all around. So yeah. Why did it only start playing? Why did it only start playing when I entered the room? I wonder if this is uh, my bedroom. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been aching up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. Ah. This definitely reminds. Wait a minute! I just recognize or realize there's a cracked mirror over there. So much plot. Okay, and once again, my reflection does not show up. Am I a freaking vampire? Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disaster fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. Hmm. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department Store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wire burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner has so far declined to comment. Boy... Oh. 
you keep a winery in your room? <laughs> and this is the closet where we keep the bodies. All right. Okay. Didn't notice that before. Why is there blood coming? And like, looks like rot coming up from the bottom. And it's locked, of course it's locked. Which means there's only one place to go. And I believe that is <laughs> downstairs into the basement where the music stopped when I looked down there. sound is so much better. <laughs> better yet worse than Call of Cthulhu. Locked again, huh? A ghostly haunting wailing sound <laughs> of the voice is beautiful yet, like I said, haunting. What happened here? I mean, the game is screaming that there has been a loss. Some sort of loss. But... Loss of life? Loss of a family? Like, did they leave? I can tell this game, even though it may be on the shorter side of things and... <laughs> it's low intensity so far. I can already tell that it's going to get to me probably pretty quickly just because of the, <laughs> the energy of the whole thing. There's the key. Jeez, took me long enough. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promise. Okay. Oh. That's not happy. No, that's not happy at all. That's even worse. <sighs> so, I believe I have seen this game played just like in the corner of my eye, not like I actually sat down to watch, but uh... <laughs> I'm going to ignore that blood room first. I'm going to go down to the original painted-ish room. Um, I believe I've seen a couple people play this, like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, etc. And I didn't really watch watch. I mostly listened. And they really enjoyed the ambiance. They really enjoyed oh, what the game had in store. Did it just shut behind me? Yeah, it did. No other door has done that. Have I been sealed in here? Am I stuck? That's a baby butt. Now, what am I going to see when I take this tarp off? Locked wardrobe. And somebody would pose here. Whoa. Whoa get it right this time. Someone was in turmoil. That's a lot of paintbrushes. Holy crow. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. What? Was it me or the camera that did that? I don't understand. Okay. It's just a landscape. Interesting. Okay. Do I use the paintbrushes? Do I paint? Oh, I have a lot of other chests. 
Alcohol. Alcohol. Blame it on the uh, 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 oh copyright. Oops. Controls are a little finicky as far as controlling the oh there you go controlling the drawers and the actual gripping of things. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done before you go to sleep. Yikes. Always talk to your partner. Communication is key. Mm. Oh, I didn't notice this before. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nothing. Still no eh, freaking reflection. So, do I do anything with this? Do I leave? Oh. The house has changed. Why is the house changed? Hello? Someone's... Um either hallucinating or lying to themselves. What do you think? Just out of reach. <clears throat> Just out of reach. And it's gonna be different? No, it's not. I'm shocked. Okay. Do I leave? Why do you keep changing on me, huh? <sighs> Going in circles. Am I in, like, his shattered mind? Is that the metaphor? Oh. Smoking pipe? Can't read that. Sir, your house is uh, bigger than you expected, huh? I bet you even uh, didn't realize how big of a house you had. It keeps changing and evolving. Realtor didn't mention anything about that. What? What? Oh, there's a... Okay, we're into escape room land. Okay. Yeah, three-digit code. Hmm. Come on, let me see the note. Let me see the note. Oh, I can't see the note. Paint. Aha. Save the date. Mm, request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June at St. at 2 o'clock. Okay. That seems kind of deliberate. Uh, 962? it Nine, six, two. Is that it nope apparently not oops come on there we go is that not a note I can read I could have sworn that it was Let's see the date Two o'clock, 9th of June. Maybe two nine six. Is it two nine six? Nope. Nope, can't leave. Of course I can't. Ah, I can actually light my way. Oh, no I can't. No I can't. Oh, yes I can. 
Oh, the paper was a red herring. I love that. That's awesome. 485. 485. Okay. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Oops. There we go. The past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Well, that's very sweet. Sweet and sad at the same time. And the door's back. Never forget. Ah, oh, man. If only my remember all would work correctly. I can't remember what I've forgotten. I make Harry Potter jokes when I'm scared. I should not have said that. Oh, who put the deer on the wall? Take it down. Huh. I wonder if I can work the same... No, I thought those were candles that I can light magically. It's interesting how I can interact with all these... Different objects. Huh. I'm sure most of them have, like, no bearing on the story whatsoever. Oh, no, no, no! Whoa! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. That was just long enough for me to realize that the picture had, like, drop effects, like blood that was dripping just behind the figure. God, that was terrifying. Whew. Mmm. Mm-mm. 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 Nope. No, that's not, that's not cool. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't, I don't want it. Oh. Oh, I don't want it. That's not good for me. That's not good for my person. <laughs> Ah, uh, what's your name? Are you Professor Quirrell? Is there something behind you? No, just you. Oh, I can read that. That's good. My love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel the, your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in sermon I found in perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own and yet here you are within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. Now, I don't know about you, but that doesn't seem to bode well. Because horror games tend to focus on some positive light, almost literally, and then shove the bad down your throat. Um, the heck? Oh, no. Come on. What's that about? Oh, the painting switched. Oh, God. Deep breath, deep breath, okay, keep going. Is there a ghost? Do you guys think there's a ghost? Moving props around to look like they're scenes from a play, some sort of horrific movie or play. Do you think this is all metaphorical? Do you think maybe that we're in the middle of a little little 
little bit of a shit show, maybe? Anyone? I feel alone in this house, in this mansion that keeps sprawling like a maze and trying to send me messages that were written down by some long-lost lover or- Whoa, or wife! That's not with us anymore, but seems to be with me still. Paint. Deep. Lies. Okay. Oh. <sighs> now, a tiny bit to the mm. left. Yes, just like just that. Like Hold that pose. that pose. I want to get all oh. those lovely curves just right. Just right. <laughs> Please tell me. Please tell me that was his wife. And that he wasn't having an affair. Please tell me that. Don't make me hate the Bane character. I'm gonna hate the main character, aren't I? Okay. I can't move. Oh, now I can. Whew. Sort of. What's blocking me? Ah! <sighs> <sighs> I didn't even know what that was because I looked down too much. I couldn't see what it was supposed to be. Okay. God, that was more of a sound-based scare. Couldn't tell what it was supposed to be. All right. Okay, we're good. Guys, I think I'm going to actually stop here. Not because my heart's racing, but just because I want to make sure these episodes can be a little bit shorter on time. Okay, thank you for stepping into this little realm of psychological horror with me. I hope you enjoyed some sort of part of it. Hope your heart's bumping a little bit maybe along with me. And if not, maybe next episode will catch a fancy. I will see you in the next part. Have fun, wash your hands, and go light a candle and read a book for a little bit. Good night.